this is where the crematorium is being built. It is right next to a home that was turned into apartments. And then directly behind the building, you have a street with several homes on it. And residents who live near here say they're concerned about fumes and their property values. But the council president says at this point, there's very little they can do to stop it. If this type of business can come into our neighborhood, what is next? Michelle Karens and her neighbors are not happy that a crematory is being built right on North 7th Street in Youngwood. They found out about it when gas company workers told them why a new gas line was going in. We were very upset to find this out through such means. The crematory is moving from the dairy area to here in Youngwood, where there is no zoning. So, a crematory technically can go up right in the middle of a neighborhood. So we're looking to bring zoning back into Youngwood. Would that make a difference on this? I don't, don't, don't know. Um, because this area right here is sort of light industrial already. One of those businesses belongs to Sam Dragovich. He also owns the lot across the street from his metals business. Yeah, I was going to build a new house over there. And, uh... My wife actually said after she seen what was happening over there that there's no way she wants to live there. The crematory owner, Jeff Barnhart, told me he wants to be a good neighbor and there won't be any fumes or harmful gas emissions. The DEP monitors crematories and Barnhart's operation will have to abide by their rules. A professor at the Pittsburgh Institute of Mortuary Science said a properly running crematory will not emit any smoke or smells. If they do, something is wrong and the DEP will pay a visit. Residents who would like to voice their concerns to the borough can do so at the council meetings at the end of this month on the 27th and on May 4th. In Youngwood Borough, Westmoreland County, Ashley Hardway, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. A heads up